Hi, it's Mike Thornton, and today we're going to take a look at a completely different take on cleaning up audio. The Absentia DX, or ABDX for short, from Todd AO. The first difference is that this is a standalone application. It's not a plugin. You can simply drag and drop files or folders onto the app, and depending on the settings here, it will process the audio accordingly, and either replace the original files or put new fixed files into a folder which you can set from here. Another key feature is that you can process files and not modify the metadata, which is really great news for Pro Tools users. Back to the tools, and the home remover can work either in a more aggressive strong mode, or in a smooth mode. Next, we've got the broadband reducer, which is designed to provide modest removal of broadband noise. And finally, we've got the tick remover, which is designed to remove ticks when the dialogue is absent. So let's see what it can do. Now, here's a really nasty file to start with, where the screen on the mic lead was broken, and so we've got a lot of hum. For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up again. So let's set up Absentia DX with just the Home Remover tool selected, and we'll leave it on strong. There's really quite a lot of hum there. And then we can drag the file onto the application, and away it goes. It starts processing it. So here's what we had. For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up again. And here is the process version. For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up again. We can see just from the spectrogram how Absentia DX has removed all the hum and all the harmonics of the hum as well. Now, I could have chosen to add the broadband remover option as well, in which case Absentia DX would have processed the audio in two passes, removing the hum first and then the broadband. And this is what we get. For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up again. Here's a clip from a wedding recording that has some hum and noise. But this one, Grace, this R Grace, I think... She surpasses them all. And so processing this with Absentia DX with both the home removal and the broadband reducer enabled gives us this. But this one, Grace, this R Grace, I think she surpasses them all. And there we go. The broadband reducer is subtle and actually works better on real world examples like this. And this is where Absentia can come into its own by processing most, if not all, the location recordings. In fact, they recommend Home Remover on its smooth setting and Tick Remover for batch processing production sound files. So, what about Tick Remover? Here's a Scratch Final Record recording. And again, to save time, I've pre-processed this. So here now we have a process version using just the tick remover. Now it's not perfect, but perhaps it's a little unfair to give it this sort of a file. But if you just look at the spectrogram, there's the unprocessed version and there's the process version. So it's made a huge difference to that file. And again, it's really about working with real world files. So here's a more real world example. Maybe that's why she had the knack of knowing how children feel, which meant that her presence at birthdays and Christmas were quite inspired. And again, here's one that I've processed. Maybe that's why she had the knack of knowing how children feel, which meant that her presence at birthdays and Christmas were quite inspired. And that's so much better. It's taken out a lot of the mouth clicks that were in that particular voice recording. But before we finish, I want to show you how Absentia DX handles processing files that are already in a Pro Tools session. In this session, my client has already got some archive audio with hum on it that she's already edited. Let's take a quick listen. As people, rather than as 
an elderly person. For many years, I accept the weather and all its moods. There are times when I love the... Obviously, I could process this file and then recreate the edit that uh, the producer created. But what I can do with Absentia DX is to take this file. Now, this file was actually uh, a file that was part of a much bigger file. You can see that this was a much, much bigger file. But what we can do is to close the session. So we'll close session and save it. And you can see here in the audio files folder of the session, here is the clip 24 file. So what we can do is to take that out and let's just drop it in the bin. So here is the clip 24 file that I've processed. So I can now drop that in, replace that into the session's audio files folder, and then open up the session again. And so here is the same session. All I've done is swap the clip 24 file in the audio files folder session, something one would normally recommend you never ever did. And here we go. An elderly person. For many years, I accept the weather and all its moods. There are times when I love the rain, when it's raining and cloudy. And I've got the whole landscape to myself. And of course, because it's processed the entire Clip24 file, it's all there. So if I needed to open out this edit and change it, I'm not going to be, have any problems because the whole file has been processed. So what do I think? Well, this is definitely a very clever app that's going to be great for batch processing complete folders of production sound. It's the sort of thing you could hand off to the assistant to set up and process, and then you can come in and get on with some work. I have to say the hum remover is especially spectacular, and the broadband reducer and the tick remover are great on normal real-world audio that just needs a little bit of cleaning up. Add to that that the price is amazing at just $49. So if you've regularly got production sound coming in that needs a little bit of work doing to it, then you should definitely check out Absentia DX from Todd AO. I'll see you again soon.